Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer and let's give you guys an update on the Win Love 3000 milliamp solar panel power bank. Now I had this for about 30 days, so disclaimer, they did not send me this product to review or to make an update and make my final conclusions. I purchased this with the Amazon gift cards that you guys supported me with. So with that said everybody, I also want you guys to subscribe, like and share it because only 1.8 percent of you have notifications turned on so turn those notifications on so you can see real world results like this in the real world now I've been using this power bank for the last 30 days it has shown some very inconsistencies when it comes down to transmitting power to the power bank let's talk about the solar panels the solar panels are low tier budget panels you're not going to get the best results if you want the best results, buy high expensive or high tier solar panel because these solar panels do not transmit energy very well back into the power bank. You literally have to use these solar panels in very, very harsh sunny conditions. You can't use it on a cloudy day. You can't use it on a parky sunny day. You're not going to get the best results. You're not even going to get a, a bar charged. So I digress with the solar panels right now because they are low budget solar panels as I said so for the price of $33 you're not going to get the best results these it's a low tier budget power bank let's talk about the wireless charging wireless charging also not the best results it literally took me almost three hours to charge my iPhone using the wireless charging on this device it literally is a slow charge 1% at a time it charges it doesn't jump like you normally see that in fast charging. So I digress. Let's talk about the ports. As you can see, port one is broken. Too fragile in my opinion, too fragile. So be careful how you handle your ports. Port one charges at max 11.2 and then dies down to 8.6 amps. It does that. When you hit a percentage on your battery on your device, let's say you hit 65%, you're going to notice the slow charge after that. So port 2 also has a slow charge as well, but it doesn't hit 11 amps, but it stays at a constant 7.2 amps to hit 60%, then it dies down to 4.8 to 4.5 amps. So you're going to see that slow charging process when you charge your device. So pay attention when you're charging your device. With the other set, now type C is an in and in out charging port for charging your devices and charging the power bank. Now I got this dongle or adapter when I purchased my Ray Power fast charging adapter uh, charger. Okay, it supports 36 watts of fast charging. Okay. I recommend if you want this power bank to charge faster than eight hours, you want to use a fast charging power brick or power charger. Okay. The reason why I say that is because the, in the time of me doing this video, this particular device was completely dead. This is my microphone to my Comic Con Boomex system. It literally charged this thing in a matter of minutes, literally. And then you can see it is still actually still charging it. So I recommend using the Type C port for all your devices. Now, if you didn't break the, the port one, you can use port one, but you're gonna notice that slow charge after 65%. I digress on that. But port one, uh, Type C port does work very efficiently. It works very well. Even when you're charging the power bank, if you use the power bank or fast charging power bank, as I said, you're going to get the best results. It may charge it in six hours, it may charge it in seven hours, it may charge it in eight hours. Depends on your fast charging power bank or power brick. So, but here are the shortcomings solar panels are nothing but garbage, they're budget solar panels, so not top tier solar panels, okay? Wireless charging does work, and I recommend just charging like your wireless earbuds on, on these or other small devices. Charging your phone, 
it's a no-brainer don't do it you're gonna be sitting there for three hours two hours the most no one has that time to sit around and wait for the device to charge that long so the best way to charge your devices especially your smartphones is using the type C port and port 1 port 2 is just completely slow it's rigged but not only that my unit did not come with the 3000 milliamp it came with the 24,486 milliamps of power so this is when I contacted Amazon and told them about the shortcomings when I tested and the results were that and I gave them the proof so with that said everyone other than that it's a great power bank but not a great solar power bank so if you continue to buy it for $33 this is what you're going to get for $33 don't expect high expectations with this device this is not a top tier power bank this is not something that I had in the past or my other solar panel which is what is it? Uh, it, it it can transmit how much amps it can transmit oh my panda I forgot, but I have a solar panel that can do better than these three solar panels put together. So with that said, everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer. Please do subscribe, like, and share. I will leave the links down to the, the power bank still down in the description below. But I'm also going to leave links to other power banks that you will want to buy for less than 200 bucks, And you can use it to power your laptops power anything your radios your, your yes I said laptops if you want a game for about three hours I'm gonna leave those in, down in the link below with that said everyone please hit the notification bell to see more real world reviews like this in the real world there's nothing more to be said so eat sleep photography videography technology and repeat and I will see you guys in the next video you guys take care. Happy shooting.